uh, many thanks indeed, Milford. Uh, lots of uh, interesting arguments and food for thought there, and I'm sure everybody has lots of questions and reactions to that, but we have plenty of time for that uh, um, a bit later. So I want to hand over, first of all, to uh, Harjun um, to respond. Hi, uh, thank you for inviting me to this uh, exciting event. Um, well, the, um, this is a great book. Uh, I can tell you that, uh, and I, I mean, happen to agree with uh, many of the things that uh, Milford says. Actually, I learned really a tremendous amount of uh, stuff about this uh, microfinance uh, issue from Milford, and I mean, probably what I'm going to say in the next few minutes is basically repeating what he said uh, in slightly different ways. But uh, let me give it a go. Uh, you know, George W. Bush once uh, famously complained that the problem with the French is that uh, they don't have the word entrepreneurship in their vocabulary. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, now, this is, of course, I meant that, that, that uh, France, uh, uh, and the US, uh, well, uh, let me get to that later. But uh, this is a uh, very common view that we have. I mean, uh, basically, you need entrepreneurship for economic development. Yeah? And at one level, who can disagree? Yeah? But I think uh, that uh, this uh, fundamental misunderstanding about uh, the nature of entrepreneurship, its role in economic development, and so on, is so pervasive that it uh, becomes a kind of uh, the, the pillar of this uh, the mainstream thinking about uh, microfinance. Uh, let me explain. You know, if entrepreneurship, especially individual entrepreneurship that mi microfinance is uh, supposed to encourage is the key to economic development, why is it that in Benin, 89% of the population is self-employed and in the United States, uh, only 7.5% of people are self-employed. Yeah? You know, there's uh, some problem there. Yeah? And actually, it turns out that uh, the French are more self-employed than the Americans. 8.6% yeah? <laughs> of uh, the, the French people are self-employed. So the, Mr. Bush was not uh, was uh, wrong, not just about the language, but also about uh, the fact. Yeah? But I mean, developed countries are all well, not all, I mean, that are mostly in that kind of region. I mean, it's the lowest in Norway, 6.7%. Uh, OECD average is about 12.8%. Uh, there are countries like uh, Italy and Spain where it's at, uh, around 20%, but basically it's at, uh, in that kind of uh, neighborhood. Eh? In the developing countries, average 30 to 50%, and that's only for the non-farm sector. Yeah? And in most countries, the farming sector is predominantly self-employed, so it, it would be even higher if you counted the farming uh, the population. But in some countries, the ratio is way, way up. 67% uh, in Ghana, 75% in Bangladesh, 89% in Benin. Yeah? So if this uh, the story of microfinance, yeah, that individual entrepreneurship is uh, how individuals and by implication, the nation becomes rich, then actually the, there's a huge problem because the, 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 as our economies develop, we become less and less entrepreneurial. Yeah? And uh, this uh, the, the kind of disjuncture between this you know, view of entrepreneurship and uh, economic development that m many people have and the reality or rather the real history of economic development is what really got me to think about uh, this uh, microfinance uh, issue in a critical way. And I mean, uh, Milford's uh, book uh, is uh, full of very fundamental insights uh, that help us understand why things are like that. You know, I mean, the why, despite the fact that so many people in developing countries are so desperately trying to get out of poverty, and even with that, uh, all this uh, microcredit, they just uh, they still cannot get out of poverty. I mean, he mentioned a few mechanisms that, uh, that uh, 
kind of, but uh, create this kind of situation. I mean, the one is uh, the what he just mentioned that the uh, fallacy of composition. You know, I mean that 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 yeah. one great example Milford has uh, in his book is uh, when Grameen Bank uh, teamed up with the uh, Teleno, the the Norwegian mobile phone company, and started giving out loans to this uh, the rural village uh, ladies uh, to buy a mobile phone to rent out to. Yeah, for the uh, villagers, the first, uh, I don't know the exact number, first, you know, hundred, you know, first that uh, 1,000, I don't know, that uh, made a lot of money. Yeah? I mean, these uh, ladies in the first wave of uh, the Teleno scheme were earning between 750 and $1,200 in a country with, well, that, uh, at that time, something like uh, that $350 per capita income. Eh? <coughs> but several years later, when all these uh, the other ladies uh, came to join the game, their average income fell to $70. Yeah. And by that time, Bangladesh's uh, average national per capita income had uh, risen to 450 yeah. So when you have uh, the people with uh, extremely limited <coughs> productive capabilities, <coughs> And give them a little bit of money, they do all the same things. Yeah? You know, I mean, uh, Milford again has uh, great stories about the uh, uh, dairy farmers in Croatia. Yeah? They got lo micro loans, they all bought another cow, yeah? the bottom fell the, the, the out of the local milk, milk market. Yeah? Now, this could have worked if, uh, as uh, Milford says, if it was combined with uh, the Danish uh, style agriculture co ops. Yeah? which not only lends you the money, but also that organize you into the cooperative, both the uh, creamery that, uh, machines uh, that, uh, together and help you with the uh, export marketing and that uh, turn your extra milk into butter and cheese and <coughs> that, that exported them to Britain and Germany. Yes, uh, that work and Denmark uh, that, that had a great success with that, but without all those other things, it doesn't. Yeah? And I think uh, the biggest lesson that uh, Milford's uh, uh, book uh, gives us is basically that you need this uh, range of uh, collective institutions to make this uh, microfinancing work. Yeah? I mean, it could take uh, many different forms. I mean, in yeah, some countries, including uh, the, yeah, uh, uh, my own uh, native uh, Korea, agriculture co-ops uh, played a very important role. In the, some parts of uh, Germany and Italy, you had uh, these uh, local business associations uh, that uh, co-financing uh, research and development and export marketing and all these things. So, I mean, I'm not saying that there's only one formula, but unless you have this uh, the collective institutions, this uh, individual-based uh, entrepreneurship is uh, not going to take this people very far, yeah? I mean, uh, Milford asked a very, yeah, kind of uh, uh, <laughs> uh, obvious, but uh, 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 infrequently asked question, if microfinance is so good, why is Bangladesh so poor? Yeah? You know, I mean, the, uh, there's uh, the, uh, some uh, big, there are some big questions that, that, that we need to ask, and. Milford asked them and give us uh, the really great uh, the theoretical insights and empirical material. So I really strongly recommend this uh, book to you. One final footnote to what uh, Milford uh, said earlier, and I'll shut up after that. You know, if you look at uh, any data, but uh, for example, the, the, the most uh, accessible is uh, the World Bank data on non-financial business rate of profit, mm -hmm. In most countries, it's between three and seven percent. And how do we expect people to take out a loan with thirty percent interest rate and develop their business? I think that this understanding about economic development as a purely individual-based process, without any regard to collective institutions, yeah where, yes, uh, if you are clever enough, if you work hard enough, if you are motivated enough, uh, you can make 30% profit, 90% profit, yeah? and, and uh, stand on your feet. I think uh, this is a uh, really fantasy. I mean, you try to square it with historical experiences or what is going on in business uh, sectors in the world, 
it just doesn't make sense. Yeah? So that, uh, let me that, uh, stop with that uh, and, and thank Milford uh, for bringing us uh, this uh, wonderful book uh, once again. Thank you. Thank you.